Hey guys, it's me, Mareike Sophie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So in the last couple of weeks, we have been moving apartments and for the last couple of days, my dad and I have built our new kitchen. It's the IKEA method kitchen system with some personalizations and yeah, I'm really excited to start organizing my new kitchen. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be doing a little bit of cleaning in the beginning. Then we will do a new spice organization, small pantry organization. And I'm sharing some amazing Amazon finds that I found to make this kitchen just perfectly organized for our needs. So without any further rambling from my side, I'm going to jump right into the video. I want to start by sharing some stuff that I find in my latest IKEA trip. I have a shop with me and a huge IKEA haul up on my channel. I'm going to link it for you on the screen. But the first thing I will be using in today's video to make my life easier in the future are those drawer protectors. Um, they come like on a roll and you can just fit them perfectly into your kitchen drawers and they protect them from scratches and from getting dirty and if you want to clean some stuff you just can take out the protector and clean it and your drawers don't get that much wear and tear on them. Another item that I found and that I finally decided to treat myself with are those bamboo wooden um, drawer organizers from Ikea. They come in different like sizes and shapes. So I got one of um, like the smallest ones to go here underneath my oven. And then I got a big one that is especially made to fit the method, method kitchen drawers. And I'm so happy that I splurged a little bit on this and got like a perfectly fitting drawer organization for my cutlery and everything I need for everyday living and cooking. Now moving on to my spice organization. This is actually really exciting for me because I never had like a matching spice um, set. I have like eight spice jars of the same kind, but um, they are not enough for all my spices and they didn't fit into this kitchen actually. I like to have my spices underneath my oven um, in the top drawer and the drawer is too small for my spice jars. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go into Amazon and I'm going to treat myself to a proper spice organization. So I got this set of 24 spice jars. They are made out of glass and I got matching labels and everything. I'm going to link the set in the description box below because I'm really happy with it. And yeah, so then I just proceeded to clean all the jars and then fill them with all of my spices. The set comes with some pre-printed stickers for like the most common spices and some really weird ones. I already realized by looking at them. Um, so this is the salt and it also comes with some plank stickers that I could fill in by myself, which I actually did for some of my a little bit more special spices. And yeah, overall it worked really well and it is so, so satisfying when all of the spices are in the matching jars. I'm really excited about it. Oh, 
the spices fit perfectly into my drawer they are not completely round like they're more like in a square form um, which makes them not roll from side to side which I also really really like and they fit in perfectly here with my wooden organizer from Ikea and then I actually proceeded and I added in a second one of those wooden ones but um, I flipped it and put it the other way around um, then the one on the right and I added in some of my like um, mills I think they're called like um, they are for big salt and chili and stuff that you need to grind up and that also worked out perfectly fine and we're already off to my next organizational thing that I purchased I got this um, lazy susan plate off of Amazon um, I went for the white one because I felt like it would look really good in the kitchen and then I got these little plastic dispenser bottles at Ikea a double pack of those was two euros I got four of them and I want to fill a lot of my like cooking liquids like vinegars and oils and um, stuff into these bottles actually because one they fit better onto the lazy susan and two the lids are different and it makes it easier to, to dispense from the liquids because um, especially with oil bottles I feel like a lot of oil comes out at once and I just want to be able to control the amount a little bit better. Moving on to the last project of the day, my dry ingredients or like small pantry ingredients. Um, first of all, a little disclaimer, I am switching hair and outfit in this video. That's simply due to the fact that I filmed it over the span of two days. I started to film an outfit that you're seeing right now. Then I realized I needed new spice organization and I needed the Lazy Susan. So I stopped filming, went on to Amazon, ordered everything that I needed for the video. Um, but I still don't want to lose the clips that I have right here. So um, we're just mixing it up a little bit today. I hope you guys don't mind. But um, yeah, for my small pantry, so I don't have a pantry, like walk-in pantry or something like that. Um, I'm going to be using my drawers and my overhead um, cupboards in the kitchen. And I'm using my very re reliable um, dollar store containers for a lot of my ingredients that I use every day and that I use a lot and I'm just filling everything in these containers. I really, really like them. They're like a dollar a piece. And if I have the opportunity, like stores are currently closed again in Germany for us to shop at, um, like the dollar store is not available for shopping right now, but if it opens up again, I might go out and get some more of these containers because they're super practical. But yeah, I'm just filling everything into these containers and then I'm moving on to different containers as soon as I run out of those. And we are getting close to the end of the video so now it's just time to like fill the last couple of jars and then organize everything into my drawer 
So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, if you had fun watching it and you would like to support me a little bit, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like and a comment for this video. Maybe also subscribe if you're interested in more organizational and home decor videos. I have another kitchen video coming up really, really soon, plus a small bathroom makeover. So a lot of fun videos are coming. And I would really, really appreciate your guys' support. It would mean the world to me. So yeah, if you're enjoying the video, please leave a like and a comment. And here I am just like stacking the last little bits before I'm gonna give you a tour of the new organization. All right, guys, I'm ready to show you the after. I'm gonna start on the top. So um, on top of the stove, if I open this one up, I have the following setup. On the left, I have a shelf riser and I have all my breakfast bowl toppings, um, which is flax seeds, peel, fla peel flax seeds, different chocolate chips. Those can also be used for baking, chia seeds. Here in the back, I have um, hazelnut crunch, honey. I have my coconut oil in here because it fits and some almond, um, almond butter. And I'm gonna add some peanut butter and then we move on to my Lazy Susan, which has literally every condiment and stuff that I need, like different oils, my homemade chili oil, um, soy sauce, balsamic, white vinegar, whatever. And these bottles are really nice because um, they make the disposing of the liquids a lot easier and not that much comes out. So I really love this. And as I said, like breakfast bowls, so like oatmeals or smoothie bowls, we do them a lot. So I have all the toppings up here. So now Kiba came in here to look at my mess. Hi, Kiba. All right, <clears throat> moving on. I have this drawer now that I'm in love with. I always wanted a spice organization like this. So I actually ended up finding some more spices around. That's just like the joy of moving. You look in a box and you find some more spices. Um, so I added them in here and now I actually only have two glasses left, but I mean it fits perfectly, right? Then I have this first uh, wooden divider from Ikea for like my cooking equipment and then I put some refills here in the back like curry powder, um, salt and cinnamon so I know that I can refill these with them and then I have those three that I told you about because they need to be grind up and I actually have some extra space here so I don't know what I'm going to be doing um, there, but I mean, I like that it's not too cluttered and I have everything easily accessible when I'm cooking here. Like I just pull it out here. So that's great. So here are some final shots of the result. Again, I'm still so happy with how everything turned out. Please let me know your opinion down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for a lot of future videos coming soon. And I'm excited to see you guys next time. Bye. What I lost, but let's get lost in love tonight